Uh, it's, I don't know whether I can give you exact figures on what the backlog is, but a backlog is common when you are doing uh, uh, expanded level of testing. It is natural, it happens, but the aim is to try to, 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 to cut down that backlog as much as possible. Sometimes this backlog may be created not only by the sheer numbers of samples that you are collecting, but by other issues such as the logistics of moving those samples to different places, or the lack of reagents to be able to cope with the number of samples. Uh, I can assure you that we are addressing this backlog because the aim is not to keep people awaiting for results or holding them in quarantine or largely in quarantine or truck drivers uh, waiting along the borders because the test results have not come in. So we do prioritize also in terms of testing on those areas where we feel it is very critical that these results are returned quickly. Uh, and uh, we apply those resources according to those priorities as we walk through the backlog. So uh, in terms of backlog, yes, it happens. and. We, we might experience various levels of backlog depending on where we are in terms of our supply chain. And right now we have seen that we have a, a bit of a backlog, backlog, but we are working on trying to clear that. Uh, samples, uh, reagent levels, I think I have addressed that. Samples lost and the need to resample uh, uh, 